So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask order this side. In this video, we are going to discuss the question number of rectangles in a circle. So what does the question say? The question's input statement is exactly very clear. You have been given a circle with the particular radius. With the particular radius. Let us assume the radius is given to us as R. You have to tell me the number of rectangles as the question says number of rectangles which can be cut out from the circle which can be cut out from the circle which can be cut out from the circle and the number of rectangles so the important things are rectangles and radius r right now how will you approach this problem so before just i'm giving you a heads up that this question is properly mathematical it is nothing more than that so let me just, just zoom in into the circle so suppose this is my circle right now I want a rectangle such that like, like this can also be my, one of my plausible rectangles. This can be one of my plausible rectangles. The maximum rectangle is that all the points are on the boundary line. All the points are on boundary line. Right. So this is also a particular rectangle. But any rectangle such that this one. This is a rectangle but this is not a good rectangle because it cannot be cut out from the circle. So if I try to ask you that let me draw a maximal case let me draw a maximal case such that all the points are on boundary suppose this is my rectangle first side second side third side and the fourth side now this is my rectangle and the blue one is my circle now few points you should know about rectangle is that all of its angles are 90 degree that is this is 90 degree this is 90 degree this is 90 degree and this is 90 degree right okay suppose this is my length and this is my breadth so this is also L, this is also breadth. These are the few points you know, want to know about the rectangle. Now, I say let's make, let's do a construction. Let's do a construction. The construction will look something like this. Join a diagonal. Suppose this is my diagonal. Right? Join in the opposite points. This is my diagonal. Right? Okay. Now, the property of circle states that if some point extends 90 degree, then that means like if this line, you can see this line this line is extending 90 degree is extending 90 degree that is if i join a point to this point and this point then you can see this is 90 degree this is 90 degree correct so the circle property states that if this angle is 90 degree that means that this blue line is actually your diameter is actually your diameter it is just a circle circle property property of a circle so th this is a diameter that means if this is a diameter then it is passing through the center it is passing through the center that means this length is L and this length is L. That means the diagonal length is 2R. Diagonal length is 2R. In the maximal case. Of, of course, in the maximal case. Right. Now, how will I use this information to my use case? How will I use this information to my use case? Now, I want to know whether you know about the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Which state that L square plus B square equals to what is the length? 2R. 2r whole square which is equals to l square plus b square equals to 4r square this is one of my condition this let us name it a star equation now if i choose a and x if i choose sorry if i choose x and y x and y such that their sum is x square plus y square is greater than 4r square is it possible that this x square plus y square is contained in this circle this now, rectangle with length x and y can be contained in a circle if this condition is holding no obviously not right obviously not second condition x square plus y square equals to 4r square equals to 4r square can this happen yes it is happening l square plus b square equal to 4r it is exactly the star equation case so it is also happening can this happen x square plus y square less than 4r square it is a possible case because a circle like something like this can happen right something like this can happen this is also a rectangle. This is also a rectangle, right? X and Y. This is also a rectangle, and it is it can be cut out easily from the circle. So, what are the possible cases? X square plus Y square is equal to four R square is one of the cases. X square plus Y square is less than four R square is also the possible case. So, I have to count the number of possible combinations of X and Y such that these two conditions are met. So, my expected time complexity is given to me as O of R square and the expected space complexity is given to me as O of 1. I will use that and I will say just the simple code that for X which can be minimal 1 going up till now I have want the maximal length to be 2R. So X will go up till 2R. Similarly for Y going from 1 up till 2R if X square plus Y square is less than equals to 4R square answer plus plus i will just declare an answer equals to zero first 
and at the end of the outer loop I will say return answer. Oh sorry, that's all. That's all. That's all you have to do, right? You can see it is going for 2R, 2R. So expected time complexity is also like it is going for 4 R square, but 4 R square is actually actually equals to R square only, right? Because I will remove the constant, right? Okay, so I hope the approach was clear to you, and now it is time for you to see the code. What was the approach again? Let me tell you. Circle, rectangle, because of 90 degree, this diagonal was a diameter, and because this is a diameter, this length is R. This length is R, that means L square plus B square equal to 4 R square in the maximal case, which is a star equation. And from the star equation, we derived the two possible relations are possible for length and breadth, and we just counted the possible uh, possible pairs, right? Okay, we didn't do anything else. Let us now move to the code. Right, so you can see the coding section in front of the in front of you. But before starting with the code, I would like to request you please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me. And please do comment about your reviews so that I can improve upon myself. Okay. Now moving on. Int answer equals to zero, and the two loops that is for int x equals to going from one, not from zero, but from one. Why not zero? Because length zero, not possible. Right? It is a straight line then less than equals to 2 star r x plus plus similarly y similarly y so for int y going from 1 y less than equals to 2 star r y plus plus what will you do your if condition should state something like this if x star x plus y star y is less than equals to 4 star r star r in that case answer plus plus and at last return your answer return answer let us try to compile and run it should work fine i guess should not give any error okay it is running fine for the sample test case let's try it for the submit also also it is working fine and you can see 186 day streak so thank you for watching hope you liked it and we'll meet tomorrow in the new video till then stay tuned and keep subscribing okay thank you have a nice day